Okay, welcome to the FLT building here in Shikshini, where the Children's Library is located. And it was started by uh, Cheryl getting a grant from the Community Giving Foundation in Berwick. And we are especially thankful for them for that. So let me ask a question to my assistant today, Lucy Holmes. Who started the first library in 1731? Very good, Benjamin Franklin. He was also the only founding father to sign the three documents that freed America from Britain. So today we want to show you the Children's Library, the many books that are here, over 7,000 books. And we're going to start, uh, first of all, with the uh, younger kids' uh, room. They're separated in rooms and stuff, and as I said, there's over 7,000 books. So let's go over here to this room where Chandler will film, my producer Chandler Holmes will film the books uh, in this particular room. This is toddlers and infants books and stuff. As you can see, there's so many different ones here. And the nice thing about it is with this particular library, it is free. You can take out 10 books at a time and you can have them for 14 days. And there is no charge for this particular library. This is the next room up. This would be for the uh, reading levels. You can see there's reading levels one, two. Uh, there's uh, a number of books here for different ages and stuff. Uh, this group would be young readers. This would be young readers. Okay. And you can see there's a lot of different books here. And then we'll move over to the next room, which is the largest room probably. And this has books from all over. Uh, there's a couple books that I will draw your attention to. And uh, one of them is How to Speak Horse. And we're actually going to do a video on horses because horses were very important for the development of America. And uh, horses were actually brought here by the Spanish. And uh, so they were used for many different things. But we are going to do a separate episode on horses and this particular book. The other one is if you have kids that are going to start a garden, there's a book here that says From Seed to Plant. And it tells the kids how to grow their own vegetables and stuff. The next one, we have a book that was written locally by Tim and Sharon Carey. And it says, How Don the Fawn Got His Name. So this particular room has books about animals. Uh, we have a Amber Brown, the Hardy Boys, Magic Treehouse. Uh, on this side, you can see Junie Jones. <clears throat> yeah. Babysitter's Club. Babysitter's Club. Uh, there is a lot of series books in this one. There's also non-fiction non -fiction books about the Civil War, uh, other books of if somebody's doing research, there's different books here to do that as well. And uh, let me move on. One of my books that I like in particular is The Makanakwa Story. And it's about Francis Slocum being kidnapped by the Indians. It's a very interesting book. I actually read that book myself, and I'm not much of a reader, so that tells you. Over here, we have some other books here, fiction books and stuff in series. Uh, you can see them all. These are some new ones that we just got in, Duck and Goose. And here you can see the large book. Here are smaller books here. And over behind you, there are some nonfiction books, The Solar System, Ultimate Fact Book about uh, animals. And then we come to the back room here, where this is for older kids. And here you can see the different books and series books that's here. Uh, Kids to the age of 19. Up to eight, 19 years old. There are books here and stuff. We're encouraging those kids to come. Uh, there are a lot of books here that they'd be interested in. And you can put down your electronics. And uh, 
take a book out like you would in a regular library. So uh, I think that we have many different books here for everybody. Uh, and again, it's free. You can take out up to 10 books. You get a library card. You can keep them for 14 days. The only thing we ask you to bring them back in a good condition as well. And if you would bring them back when there is no one here, there is a box out on the porch where you can leave your books and stuff. So I believe that... Uh, that is uh, it for this library. So this is Jimmy Box signing off History with Jimmy. Uh, we look forward to you coming. You can also go on to the website, shikshinihistoricalsociety.org, and you can see more information about the library and a phone number to call if you have had any questions. And also you'll notice that when you do join, you get your own library bag to take with you to put your books in. So thank you very much for watching. This is episode 7 of History with Jimmy. Thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode.